As coach, um, I know that when he when he's ready to go, um, you know he's gonna pick up right where he left off in that Iowa game, um, and he he's ready. He's gonna um, it'll be a big big factor this year. Marcus is uh, probably one of the best teammates in that room. Um, you know, he wants to be a leader. He wants to be a model to those young guys um, for what to do and what not to do. Um, obviously, a guy that uh, has been through two programs, fifth year, uh, he's seen a lot. Um, but I, you watch him out there, he's, he's coaching, he's right next to me, he's in my hip pocket, wants to know every play, uh, wants to be around uh, the guys. Um, wants to be around the 11 on 11, like he can't stand going to the pit and all that. So he's fighting to get out of the pit. Um, but Marcus is such a good teammate. He's such a good leader. Eric, how how did you how did you feel your group performed in the scrimmage on Saturday? Um, besides probably the the pre snap procedures, you know, you kind of saw some some warts in the offense. Um, just the first time all being together. Um, but when it comes to the competitiveness, the toughness on the perimeter, I think we got better there. Uh, catching the football, we, we got better there. We're improving in that aspect. Um, so I'm pleased. You know, we talked about getting one better um, and getting one better in preparation for 831. Um, and, and I think we did on Saturday, and shoot, we did today. You've got a lot of young guys, and you kind of already mentioned them being thrown into the fire. From a learning perspective, how have you seen that? Oh, I mean, it's – this offense, you know, it could be a lot at first. Um, you know, especially um, when you're coming in the summer and you're kind of getting uh, um, a little overwhelmed just from, you know, being a college athlete and being, being a student and an athlete. Um, but the guys, are, they're taking it head on. You know, we're, we're still pumping in volume and, and volume and, and, you know, they're, they're attacking it. That's one thing about those guys is their work ethic on and off the field is very, very impressive. You, it wasn't that long ago you were in those shoes. What was the biggest challenge for you? Uh, so where, is your, where does your empathy go most? Oh, it, it's just the verbiage, uh, right? You know, everyone runs the same plays. Like, you watch Jaden Doss, he's running a pass concept, and, and, we, and we get in the film room, and I'm like, hey, you ran that in high school, didn't you? And he's like, yes. And I was like, well, yeah, that's why it looks different. You know, I was like, what'd you call it in high school? Okay, then just use that. You know, it's just the verbiage, because, you know, we all run the same plays, right? And, and in our world, it's players, not plays. What about it? Yeah. Well, you know, that's trying to be our brand of football. You know, we talk about being RDV, relentless, discipline, and violent. And we want to be violent on the perimeter, and we want to be violent when we catch the football. Uh, but the first one is violent on the perimeter. And so they saw those older guys. They saw Ty Hahn, Alex Bullock, um, you know, Marcus Billy. They saw them on the perimeter, kind of stick their face in it. And, uh, you know, it kind of showed them, hey, this is how we do things. Um, I don't treat this as work. Um, I see Dr. Elza back there. Uh, every day, every day I show up to work. I, I don't view it as work. I get to work with Marcus Satterfield, Coach Rule, um, Coach Donnie, uh, Coach Martin. I see Dr. Elza, you know, who I've known since I was a uh, very, very little kid. Um, and so I don't view it as work. You know, this is the most fun I've ever had in my life, um, especially just being around the people here. Um, this is just such a special staff to me. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. You know, it, he, he's a ball coach. Uh, he, he didn't skip a beat. He, he's a ball coach. And uh, um, the, the thing about him is he's just kind of he was kind of plug in and play. Um, and, and he's working his tail off. And those guys have responded to him and they're building a culture in that room. Right. Yeah. The day off, you know, always usually scares you as a coach. Right. You know, because they guys tend to kind of relax a little bit. Um, but the, the challenge for them in this week is even though they're at home, their preparation still has to stay the same. They got to go to bed at the same hour. They need to make sure they're still getting up at the same hour. Because obviously, um, when you're at when you're at home, it's a lot more comfortable, kind of getting a little 30 minutes extra sleep in the morning. But the challenge is, hey, go home and um, you know get back up here, get in the tubs, and, and recover.
um, I don't know, you know, the guys, and, and I keep saying our staff, you know, we have so much fun here, and the guys make it fun, and, and we got some natural competitors. I'll tell you what, we, uh, those quarterback, that quarterback room, you know, they have some juice. Coach Sad obviously has an unbelievable amount of energy. They kind of, you know, they can, they can ramp up a practice pretty quick. Uh, I'm sorry, excuse what you, me. What do you want to get done before August 31st? What, what do you think you got to progress? Honestly, if, if we get one better up until 831, uh, I think we have uh, 10 or 11 practices left, uh, then we'll, we'll be right where we want to be. Um, and then throughout the season, you know, this isn't a sport that you can maintain. We want to get one better on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday so that Saturday it has the same intensity as a Tuesday practice for us. Okay. Back to his question, where does your energy come from? Um, spark. <laughs> no, um, no, seriously, I, I, I goes, it goes back to, um, you know, I'm, I'm so excited once my feet hit the floor uh, to come up here and be around this staff, be around Ty Han, be around Alex Bullock, Billy Kemp, uh, Josh Fleeks, you know, and, and uh, pour into them and, and then pour into me. You know, they make me a better coach and make me a better person.